Thank you very much, John. Each one of us enters into a covenant with government uh, that in a democratic society, uh, the government has a right to secrets so that they can better rule us in our interests. Uh, but of course, that is a covenant which needs to be policed. And it's policed by the third estate, it's policed by the media, and that's how we keep the government honest. And of course, the question then arises, how many secrets does the government need? And Richard Dearlove, who is better known as C, the head of MI6, uh, says the government needs secrets, but not as many as you would imagine. And I would also add, perhaps also not for as long as you could imagine. And I think that that is the sort of starting point, because beyond that, when we get to the theory of a democratic society, it is about receiving all shades and colors of opinion so we can make up our minds about the issues of the moment. And I think this has been a long and honorable tradition of newspapers where uh, traditional print media have had drop boxes so that you can drop uh, information anonymously if you're a whistleblower into uh, any uh, news organization. And I think that the genius of Julian Assange was to notice that there was a gap in the market. And what that gap was, was that no longer were journalists receiving a couple of dog-eared photocopies. What they were then receiving was, in fact, uh, electronic information which needed to be mashed, it needed to be interpreted, it needed to be uh, interrogated. And that that information needed to come anonymously. And of course, the uh, email systems don't really allow that. So he developed a method of an anonymous, electronic anonymous Dropbox. And that, I think, has been the challenge and the change that we've seen in society recently. And the questions I think that we have as a society are now, how do we regulate an organization which is studiedly stateless so that it doesn't fall within the traditional frameworks of regulation of the press in any country? Uh, and how do we actually get hold of it? Because if it's not in any particular location, uh, the traditional notions of national law don't apply. Thank you very much indeed, Mark.